Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Nathan Studio. So today we are going to be looking at how to create this sculptural facade. As you can witness it from Hain Halls, a residence in Hanover, Germany. I do find it interesting because of how playful they are with the fenestration or the windows on the facade. So today we're going to look at how you can achieve that same look here in Archicad. So let's get started with this. So before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to architect Jared at Shunum Architects. He has got a lot of great content and recently he tackled something a bit similar to this and that was how to detail things around the door. Please go ahead and check it out. I promise you find it very helpful. So now let's get started with this thing. Let's begin from the wall too. So let's get a basic wall, but we need to, to get it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make this uh, about half a meter, 500. Yes, we need it to be thick enough to have a significant niche or, or something that we're going to create that recedes inward. So I'm going to choose the material as the brick finish and say, okay, and put it somewhere like there. Yeah, so that's uh, the wall we are going for. And we need a window to begin with. We're going to pick one and then go into the settings and we need to get a window which resembles one that was given, which is a variable window. Let's use a variable window and let's go in preview and positioning and make it a fairly big window. For my case, I'm going to use something like 1.8 in width and about two meters height. Yes, it should be significant. And how far is it from the ground? Considering that beam height should be around 2.4, so this would be about 400 to have that 2.4. And we need to reveal the depth. Now this is a, a thick wall really, 500, so we need about 300 or 350 uh, to be revealed like that. And now next, here in the settings, we want to change the shape. So let's find the shape here. And um, let me remove the upper transom, just that, yes, just that. So uniform glazing, maybe it should be asymmetric here, such that I have about one meter of this fixed glass and just that to be the operable main sash. And this can stay the way it is, but uh, perhaps we need a bit more of the lower transom so let's go here in the sh window settings and m change the main sash to top hang i do like how it does look like so that's enough now let's go in the model of how it's going to look like i believe it's this first model attribute yes and now we'll say make it uniform such that we choose something i did use something like the metal iron and that's what it does look like let's say okay and place that window somewhere here so let's just look at what we have done so far so this is what the window is going to look like and now we need to start to extend the niche outward let's duplicate this window so let's select it Control d and Control again to have a plus and click and click such that we place it in the same area so now let's make it a little bigger such that you can see it and this one was 1.8 and if we add another pen it's going to be around 2.7 because it's going to be huge right yes so all of this uh, but obviously we need to have an empty to use this as an empty window and to do that in the settings go to empty and choose the rectangular opening so Control alt to keep everything, the attributes, and say Control alt click on this empty such that we do not lose the size and things like that. We want to use a column element in this area to just, you know, signify that niched part. And for that, let's, let's pick the, the column here in the flow plan. Let's get a column and we are going to change a few things off course we need to change it to the same material that we did choose which is going to be a brick finish and 
also the height of it which we can change here in the column here let's make this uh, 400 from the ground and you know what let's just not link it and uh, give it a height of uh, 1.8 right because that's the height of the window and that's okay so let's say okay and place it somewhere yeah so we have it here but again we did not put in the correct size so it's going to be 500 by 900 good so we are going to unlink this and say that we need 500 and then here we need 900 and that's more like it we position it correctly like that so this is what we want so first of all let's remove these uh, 2d representations of hairs cross hairs which you can find here in the floor plan section just change this to plane yes so we don't have that and then again we want to be able to create a custom shape for this kind of stair. So first of all, if we go here in 3D, you can see that it's like that. I think I did use a lower height, but we can stretch it up a bit because it needs to be 2 meters instead of the 1.8. So here it is. And now we have the liberty to create a new shape of sorts so to say so let's go to options element attributes and we will pick profile manager and create a new profile and we're going to call it 01 niche so we can find it really easily so we say okay and now we can use the fill tool to with the same material that we did choose and let's 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 make it the 500 by 900 and don't forget where our anchor position was so we need to position it at this x mark so we will drag this down and drag this to the center because that's where our reference point is so let's drag this thing away and then we will take this back by 200 so to say Yes, so that's the kind of shape we're going for and make sure to put it in columns and save such that when we come here, actually let's do it in 3D and see what we have. So select this column, we change the shape to a custom and then we choose in the custom the very first one here, zero one niche and that is more like it. That is more like now if you wanted to use the same pen or a lighter pen you could go to the settings and an uncut pen make sure to change it to the 0.18 and say okay and that is going to be changed to align with the rest of the things here on the window and I think this is pretty good so that's the main part of this series but we do also have a seal on the window so make sure to use the bigger window and give it a seal so i'm going to go into the settings here and go to seal and enable that and i like to use the stones kind of seal and um 100 height is fine but this 10 degrees is a little bit too high perhaps two degrees of incline you know because it's long we just need it to terminate a little bit you know slower so that's more like what i'm going for so if i go to the settings and look at the next model attribute it's going to give me the seal surface so we can change that to another kind of thing so i'm going to make it something dark maybe marble black why not so something like that it's uh for representation sake but we can see that we already have now the famous window but we also need to make it look right in the floor plan so if we go to the ground floor we can see a lot of things happening here and really it's we it wouldn't be looking good over representation so one of the things that we can do is to make sure that this opening has no ending because right now it's competing here to close so we want to be able to remove that line so when we select this and if you're finding it hard to select make sure to, to hit tab when you reach at this point just hit tab and you will be able to select that window so if, if we go to the settings we want to be able to remove 
here in the uh, flow plan let's find the ganging and then we remove the controls i think we can remove both of them because the other window is taking up the rest so you can see that that cleans up that side and this side as well but we also want to this one to show so it cannot show because the material is um, the material preference is the same so what i like to do is to change the material to a bigger preference let me if i go to edit i can change this material to like another brick like the brick structure because i know that that will be stronger than the brick finish so let's say brick structure and that should be able to override then also we need to change this to a black border i, I believe it's something like 0.1, 0 0.35 of a pen. Before we save it, we also want to remove this line here, which you can do by clicking on this node and choosing this option here, such that you can be, remove that cut line. Say okay. So now we don't have that, so we, it should merge perfectly and have that line, black line, that one and that one. So this is what we want. So we, when we hit save, come and see what happens here. Good, this is so good because this material has been changed to a structural, big structure, so it, it shows through the opening. And that's good. Now we have one more problem to solve, and that is to remove this line here, which we can do by, remember, we just have to press tab to be able to select this, win, this window. So let's go into the settings, and we need to look for ganging because that's what solved the one before so we go in fixtures and fitting so here you have the ganging so let's remove one side and yes now that's it so we have just removed the ganging from the put the ganging on one side so we have just removed that line and now this is more like what you would have as a representation all right, so now we want to be able to spread these to see what they look like in the 3d so let's make copies of this um, and make sure to select all the three the outer opening this one and the other one and before we before we can spread them make sure that this window is on the right classification because when you want to make uh, windows and door schedules you don't want this to show up because it's an empty opening so change the classification to empty opening here in classification and properties just so that it doesn't you know show up in the window and door schedules but this can show up and there we are so now we have that and control u to spread everything so i'm going to spread it at about what like i think five meters should work so we have yes about three across and uh that's looking good so there we, when we go to 3d yeah that's what we have done but of course we did change what the material is in composition so we need to also change what it looks like in 3d so with this selected, we can go to the settings and this time look for the model of that, which we can override with the material, the same material, which should be, I believe, brick brown. Yeah, and that's it. So when we say, OK, now that looks uniform and super awesome. So now we can spread this across. Ah, oh, we did forget that. So we can alt click and control click to apply properties. All right, so let's, uh, I think we need to get rid of this so we can see. Uh, let's multiply it above because what happens above is that things get mirrored. So let's just copy everything on this thing and say Control C and put it on the first floor. And all we have to do after placing it here on the first floor is to move things around. So, so all these windows in in this line are supposed to be mirrored are supposed to be moved backward like this but again they're supposed to be mirrored from the center we have to mirror them individually so we need to mirror like that Control m and the rest as well we need to mirror them and obviously we need to get our ganging thing our niche or ganging thing which recesses and take it to the right side and it needs to be mirrored as well individually one by one 
and that's more like it so let's if we go here in 3d that starts to have some drama because we it niches on this side and then this side it niches on the opposite side on the first floor and the pattern continues upward so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do and like give us a like if you do like this content and and see you next time